This video is going to be so long. <laughs> Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm coming at you with a very rambly and like a talkative kind of video. I'm in a very choppy mood, I think so you can already tell. I love talking about fashion and in today's video we're going to talk about my summer essentials. I I always love watching these kind of videos and I feel that they're like really interesting and they're like really fascinating. So I thought I should do my own version. I have fashion accessories some makeup beauty everything so i've got everything covered now the pieces that i'm gonna talk about today are definitely a classic and like a must-have in my wardrobe you can wear <laughs> whatever you want to wear but i just thought it might be helpful for some of you out there so yeah without further ado let's get started we're gonna start off with fashion first now for some people i feel that you know uh, a white t-shirt is their staple and for some people a white shirt is a staple. In my case a white shirt is just like a staple piece for me in summers. Now I just love wearing shirts. They just make any outfit look more smart and like more put together. So I have as an example I have this shirt. This is like a crop shirt with like bat wings and this is from Forever 21 and I really love how simple this shirt is. So another example that I have is a classic white shirt. This is very, this shirt is very clean, very put together. This is from Zara. And for my wardrobe, I just love mixing masculine pieces with feminine pieces. So I love this shirt. And if you're that kind of girl who's not into her white shirts, I think so. At this point of time, if you go to any high street brand, they just, give you the prettiest option of a classic white shirt with frills, embellishments, embroideries, you name it, they have it. So yeah. Then the second thing that is like a staple in my wardrobe for summers is again like all white, is a white dress. I just, like I was that kind of girl who was into her blacks and I used to just wear black all the time. But as I'm growing older, I, I, I really like the idea of wearing really light and like feminine colors during the summer seasons and during the winter wearing like really dark and grungy colors. I really like that idea. So this year I've just decided to go ham on like white. <laughs> so as an example, I have three dresses these are like three different types of dresses now the first one is i think so i showed this dress in a haul i just link that haul over here if you haven't seen that haul you can check it out this is from zara this is like a trapeze sort of a dress i just showed it on you can you have a better idea it's like a trapeze sort of a dress with like off the shoulder and it's just so flowy and floaty and like flirty and just perfect to chuck on with like a crossbody bag when you're shopping or even like if you are by the beach. Now for a night out option, I have this really sexy little dress, white dress. Now this is obviously off the shoulder and it's like a little mini dress and it just has a zip at the back and it just looks beautiful on and so feminine, so romantic and so sexy at the same time, so I love that. Or if you love wearing really flirty flowy dresses in the summer then something like this is just perfect this is just like a simple flowy dress with just skims all over your body and with a belt you can just cinch in your waist this one is from mango and it's just it's just a really nice nice piece to throw on during summers then moving on to the next piece that is like a must in my closet is a maxi dress now now i feel during the summers like especially in India, it gets so hot, like 40 degrees, 44 degrees. You just wanna, you just want something that you can just chuck on and just not be worried about anything. Floral is also a staple during some. I just talk about the textures and prints in the end. But if we just talk about maxi dresses, I feel that maxi dresses are just so forgiving during the summer. I just have this love affair with dresses, like maxi dresses during summers. Now this is again 
a stripy dress again breton print is a classic now this is something that i can just wear on and on and it won't look out okay, so we're moving on to skirts now i feel that every summer i really gravitate towards these two kind of skirts the first is again a maxi skirt. I just love wearing a maxi skirt. So as an example, I have this really cream sort of a maxi skirt which looks like this and it is really flattering on and you can just chuck this on with like an off the shoulder top or like a crop top. Then again, I have a stripy maxi skirt which is from forever 21 i think so yeah this is from forever 21 and it has a slit at the bottom and again you can just chuck this on with like an off the shoulder top or like a breton top again and mix your stripes or like a bodysuit and yeah it's just it's just really flattering and forgiving and it just hides all your lumps and bumps and still makes you look really stylish then the second kind of skirt that i really love wearing during the summer is a skater skirt it just hugs you in at the waist and really floats out beautifully so yeah i love wearing stuff like this during the summer the next thing that is like that has become like a staple in my summer wardrobe is a kimono now this is a beautiful floral print kimono i bought it from forever 21 just just look at how beautiful this is like i don't wear a lot of color and stuff like this is just so flattering on like if you're wearing an all black outfit or like even an all white outfit and i feel that you just buy one of this and inject that trend into your basics and this is something which is just so easy if you're going to college you're wearing or like a crop top or a camisole with your denim and you just chuck this on and i i don't know what it is it just instantly makes you look a little more polished in particular in the past two years off the shoulder or like anything with shoulder detail has just been like a staple in my closet I, like all i want to wear during the summer months is an off the shoulder or like a tube sort of top so as an example i have this black off the shoulder top with like button details of here and honestly it does not look much off like it's just a flimsy off the shoulder top but on when you tuck it in it just really gives that baggy feel and like really i i i really like off the shoulder is something which is really feminine and if you're one of those who isn't really comfortable in showing a belly or like legs i feel this is like a really elegant way of showing skin and if you still don't have an off the shoulder top in your closet i would like i would highly highly recommend you to go out and get one then the last thing that you need in your summer wardrobe is obviously bikinis i'm not gonna lie i don't really have like a huge huge collection of bikinis if you're one of those who's not comfortable in wearing like a two-piece bikini i feel something like this is just so flattering on this is a tankini this is surprisingly from forever 21 it is black and it has sunflowers like sunflower is like a favorite favorite flower like i have some sunflowers over here if you notice but it's just it's just it's so flattering on so it it goes around your neck and the back is like really deep and i think so for someone who is who does not want to go bang on with the two-piece bikini they can just throw on they can just wear something like this so we just excuse the lighting in this video because sun is just coming out and going and like it's just playing around so just excuse the lighting okay so we're done with the main clothing items now we'll just move on to print textures and stuff like that floral now i just feel a floral print is just so classic and like i have like these three tops to show you but you can just go ham on like florals so you can buy a skirt even shoes dresses tops denims with floral print so i have this beautiful beautiful top this is from forever 21 then i have this another top which is like white and with like orange flowers and it just looks beautiful on then another classic print which i feel is 
it's just classic and it's never gonna go out of style like florals is stripes now you get these beautiful stripy tops or like skirts i have this maxi skirt then this is more of a vertical print but you can get the horizontal one and it just looks beautiful on and it's a classic so you don't have to be worried about you know whether this will be in trend next year or like 10 years down the line it will still be a classic then sheer fabric is another thing that comes to my mind and i think so it is just a wardrobe staple in my closet <laughs> that is uh if i didn't already say that is a sheer fabric like a mesh detail sort of a fabric another fabric that comes to my mind during summers and i have a lot of clothes in this fabric that is lace detail this is a beautiful midi length skirt and lace just complements with summer so perfectly okay so we've covered our clothing items now let's just dabble into accessories so in accessories the first thing that we're going to talk about are shoes the number one shoe that comes to my mind during summer is a gladiator or like a strappy shoe i have these little leather sandals over here they are from steve madden and i just love I just put this on and it just makes my outfit look more summery. So yeah, I love them to bits. Then I'm just going to show you one of these. This is a gladiator sandal and oh my god. It's just so flattering on and I just love throwing this on with like a simple white shirt. Sure. Another pair which is a summer centric is your ballet flats. If you just have to run errands but you still want to look put together, I think so something like this is just so... Uh, then veggies are something that just comes to my mind when I think about summer. As an example, I have these shoes and I'm sure you all must be sick and tired of me showing these shoes to you. But they are these gorgeous wedge heel and they're like so comfortable. I literally can run in them and they're so comfortable so that's why I just keep showing them because I just love them way too much. And they have this jute sort of an effect over here which just makes it so summery. And then the last shoe that I'm going to show you is like a pair of white sneakers. Now they can be anything, they can be Adidas, Nike, Reebok, Puma, anything. Or like from Mango, Zara, they do amazing shoes. But I bought this the other day, these are Converse and they are these white Converse. And I just think that they just go, like white sneakers just go with everything. and. They are something that I don't really have to be worried about. I can just chuck them on while traveling and still look put together. We want to bags now. Now, I think so in the summertime, most of us, like it's just so hot and sweaty outside. And you can't be bothered of carrying a big bag or something like that. So then I feel something that really comes in handy is stuff like this. It has like a cat face over here and I bought it from Delhi Heart. In my head, summertime is like all fun flirty and like really fun <laughs> so i have this little piece over here it has so this is just perfect for the days when you're just not being so serious with your outfit you just or you're just wearing all that outfit and you just throw this on for like a pop of color and something fun so yeah moving on to the next accessory or sunglasses now the classic classic aviator and they look like these <laughs> and they look like this and I feel that stuff like this is just so classic and like it'll never go out of style so the last accessory that I feel that everybody should have and it's like the cheapest thing available but it will just save you every day is <laughs> an umbrella I'm just looking at the frame and I'm looking so funny but like like an umbrella is a must like i'm that person i don't care who's looking at me where am i walking i will be walking with my umbrella like even if i have to go to the gym i swear to god i'm not lying i literally even if i have to go to the gym i carry an umbrella because it's just so important anyways we've covered our clothing and our accessories now let's just move into skincare the number one thing that i want to stress in this video about skincare is having a sunscreen like you need a sunblock i cannot stress how important it is to protect your skin 
so you need a sunblock this one is from lotus this is like spf 30 this is easily available everywhere i love it i have been using this since i was in school and yeah i just love it and this one is from innisfree and this is spf 35 and this is oil control and oil free and stuff then the second thing that i feel that like I don't know, during the summer, your legs are out, your arms are out, so you have to scrub your body, you really have to get in there and like um, remove all the dead skin, dead cells, and use it. a body shop, they do amazing scrubs, but the one that I have is from Victoria's Secret, and this is the raspberry one. Oh my god, it just smells divine. I think I mentioned it in one of my favorite videos also, but I just love it, it's just it's not really harsh on your skin it's more like sugary and you just it just gently exfoliates your skin which is this one is a lip balm this is from birds bee this is their original honey flavor this this is available in sephora india and this is 100% natural and yeah this is just a great to just moisturize your lips because on day to day basis if you don't want to apply lipstick stuff like this is handy I don't know about you all like okay I'm filming right now and like when I am filming I will apply makeup or if I have to go to an event then I'll apply makeup but on an everyday basis I don't really think so that you need foundation that was my point <laughs> so you don't need foundation on an everyday basis what you can do is buy a concealer and a powder so what I do is I think so I showed my what i actually do even what i have today is exactly what i did in one of my videos i'm rambling but um how i do my makeup during the summer months is completely different to how i do it during the winter months like i just like it very light and natural and glowy dewy that sort of a thing so i don't apply a foundation during summers i have a video i've done a tutorial I'm not the best out there in makeup to be very honest but I just like to share whatever I've been doing so I'll link that video also over here but what I do is if you have spots or you want to cover your under eyes so you just take this and you put this on the spots or under your eyes and then you will just blend it then after that you just set your entire face with a compact powder now this is just great if you have oily skin and during the summer everything like really light on the skin so this i i just use this religiously this is by mac so i'm in the shade nc40 and i've almost hit pan but yeah i just put this all over my face and i'm sorted maybe if i want a little bit of color the back into my skin i would use the benefit benny tint this is in this liquid formula and you can just put this on your lips for a little color and on your cheeks and i think so it just looks very natural and and i think so it just gives you that no makeup makeup look and if you're a college student if you something like this is really nice then moving on to lips now i really don't now i really don't like to wear matte lipsticks during the summer and like really a colorful lipsticks you guys know by now i'm not a very experimental person when it comes to makeup and my lip color i just stick with basics like i just love my nudes and like a pinkish nude or like a red that's it See, especially i've been so much into glossy lips so i have this uh, this glossy gloss sort of a thing which is from revlon this is a uh, shade 24 gold dust and it's a really nice golden sort of uh, gloss so that's it guys for this video i really hope that you all enjoyed i know it was a long video but i just wanted it to be like a really chatty video you know like a friend talking to another friend about her wardrobe essentials and yeah i really hope that you all enjoyed and i hope that it was a little helpful for you all if you did Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel because I would just love, 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 love for you all to come back for more. And I'll see you all next Tuesday. Bye! Mwah.